Welcome back to your feel-good breakfast show. Time to get serious. It's FIFA gate. Now, the FIFA bribery scandal continues to unfold in the world of sport, or in fact, the world over. And South Africa, of course, has had its turn to address issues surrounding the 2010 FIFA World Cup bid and alleged irregularities in that bid. Fagila and Balula held a press conference at Safa House in Johannesburg, and this is what he said. All right, he said, the African diaspora is consisting of people of African origin living outside the continent, irrespective of their citizenship and nationality, and who are willing to contribute to the development of the continent and the building of the African Union. Its Constitutive Act declares that it shall invite and encourage the full participation of the African diaspora as an important part of our continent in the building of the African Union. Smoke screen, it's smoke screen. Absolutely, man. You know what? It, it's it's it, it came at an interesting time, you know, because I was so consumed with you know the birth of my baby boy, and then I just heard about the the the, the, the FIFA scandal that's going on at the moment. It's bribe? Is it a bribe? What is actually going on, brother? Yeah, you know, I, I think you aren't alone in being completely confused. I think the entire world's media is completely confused, trying to piece this all together. We're talking about a story that's been evolving for 24 years now, but when South Africa's obviously involvement mm. comes into play, it really does centre on the 20 win, uh, 2010 World Cup, and a bribe that was supposedly paid to Jack. Warner, um, courtesy of our government. Now, there is a massive paper trail. Um, this, we pretty much know, did happen, and it was supposedly paid to the African diaspora, this, um, a trust fund that was there to, as Fagile Mbulula is, is trying to point out, mm. um, there to encourage uh, the development of football outside of Africa, but with um, former Africans. Now, Mbulula, he denied that the 10 million was paid by Safa to FIFA. Um, in fact, that it was a bribe. Um, this, that's, of course, how it is very much yeah. seen. And he's asked that no one comments on the matter, as it'll be handed by uh, government through diplomatic channels. Um, yeah. But I think this ultimately did lead to the stepping down of Sepp Blatter, where it made it very real for the, um, the FIFA mm. boss that his involvement now was going to be scrutinised by the FBI and, and the various bodies that are all turning their focus onto this, um, this scandal. Absolutely, man. I mean, it, it was also said that $10 million was allocated to benefit the development of football, like you said, in the African diaspora. And uh, the funds were never meant for the South African government, only for SAFA. So, mm. so this is interesting. You know what? I heard somebody else say the other day, um, you know, when it comes to this, I mean, it doesn't matter how you look at it, it still did a lot of great, you know, having mm. the, the, the World Cup, Football World Cup in South Africa because it contributed to the infrastructure, to the GDP, I mean, the building of brand new stadiums, I mean, and also tourism in South Africa. So I there's think, kind of a bright side to I this. I think the big well. question is going to be is how much of this um, process was naivety on the part of South Africa and how much was actual mm. corruption? How much did we know about it? But it's, um, it really is a story that's going to be evolving for months now. Um, and at least South Africans, we get a front row seat being a part of that. But I think many countries, many officials are going to be called into question here. Um, what a new era for world football. Well, let's see if we can get a few more details. Zoe, st uh, Zoe standing by with the news.